Good morning, everybody. It's Denise here. I'm here to do my Know Your Needleworker tag, um, who uh, it was started by Nicole, uh, also known as Whimsy Daisical. If you see me looking over here, it's because my uh, two-year-old is sitting here painting, and uh, i got to keep an eye on her. So I'm just going to start. I might have to stop and start a few times, depending on what she's doing. So you'll just have to, if you hear her singing or talking or something, that might just be her. Um, so I'm going to start, sorry. <laughs> Where do you live? I live in Canada. I live about two and a half hours north of Edmonton, Alberta, Canada. What do you do for a living? I am a stay-at-home mom. I have three girls and I stay home with them. Before I was a stay-at-home mom, I worked in a nursing home uh, uh, for a facility with people with Alzheimer's and dementia. Um, that is probably my most favorite area to work in when it comes to nursing is uh, Alzheimer's. It's a disease that's very near and dear to my heart and I find the job very, very fulfilling and uh, it was awesome working there. I also worked in a, uh, the restaurant industry. I started back when I was 18 or 19 years old in the kitchen and I basically worked my way through the entire restaurant jobs. I ended off as a server and then I quit and I moved out here to be with my husband. Do you have any children? Yes, I have Allison. She is five. She just turned five. I have Naomi. She will be four in January. And I have Isabel here, who is two years old, and she will be three in July. Do you have any pets? Yes, we have four cats, one dog, and two horses. All of our animals are rescue animals or animals that needed rehoming. Um, our four cats' names are Peter, Sasha, Russia, and Brady. And our dog is an Australian Shepherd. His name is Frank. He used to be my husband's plant dog. My husband works in the oil and gas industry and used to work up north in a plant where he had to get choppered in. And so Frank was his dog there. When my husband got transferred back home, um, Frank came with him a bit later on and retired here with us. He is about 15 to 17 years old, so he couldn't uh, keep up with the quads and the argos and all that stuff going from well to well. And so he is here with us, retired. Our horses' names are Eclipse and Crystal. Eclipse is about 15 years old, and Crystal is 5 years old. And I've had Crystal since she was a baby, and I broke her. Halter broke her, not ride broke her. Um, mum, 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 mum. Your favorite movie? I'm gonna hop on the Dirty Dancing Bang Dwagon. I watched that about a million times when I was 12 years old, and I still watch it when I have the urge to. Uh, it's a movie I can watch over and over again. Another movie that I love, which is obvious because of what I used to do, is The Notebook. Two awesome Canadian actors as well. Um, it's a very sad but awesome story about Alzheimer's. And uh, I can watch that movie over and over again. And yeah, great. Favorite TV show? The only sitcom that I watch right now is The Big Bang Theory. My other go-to sitcom is Friends. I can watch that over and over and over again. Those are my top two sitcoms. Um, the other three shows that I make a point of watching every week is um, The Voice. It's a singing competition show. So You Think You Can Dance, which is a dancing competition show. And a show on the History Channel called Mountain Men. It is about men who live in isolated areas like Alaska 
and uh, a few other places in the States. And uh, they basically have to survive. They, they show us how they survive, and they trappers and hunters, and and they show us how they survive out there in the great wide wilderness. Um, I'm just going to take a break to check on Isabel here, and I'll be back in a minute. Okay. Depending on what we're doing or what we're watching, depends on how intricate of uh, a, a stitch I'm doing. Um, oh, I forgot, I forgot some music, didn't I? Your favorite music. Now, because I used to sing, um, singing, I'm very passionate about singing, and a lot of you guys talk uh, a lot about books, but I like music. And um, because I sang in the church and because I sang on a worship band, um, a lot of the music I listen to is Christian based. A lot of the songs that I sang were from Hillsong, uh, Chris Tomlin, and Israel and New Breed. I sang a lot of their songs uh, when I did sing. Um, for music that I uh, listened to growing up, like in high school and stuff, I will say that I listened to um, rock music. Guns N' Roses, Pearl Jam, Nirvana, and Neil Young, um, stuff like that. Uh, I grew up on country, the old country, like my parents listened to Neil Young, which is what I enjoyed listening to him, so I took that with me as I grew up, but I, they also listened to like, oh, beautiful. I listened to Dolly Parton. They listened to Dolly Parton and Kenny Rogers and, you know, the Oak Ridge Boys and Nitty Gritty Dirt Band and and that kind of stuff. Um, my family is very musical, so that's the kind of music that they also sang as well. Play guitar, play piano, and they sang. So they sang that kind of stuff. Um, newer music. I would say that I like Maroon 5, Bruno Mars, um, Adele, although she's on a, a baby break right now, and Pharrell. I have liked all his collaborations with everybody that he's done. I think he is awesome producer and he gives awesome advice. He's on The Voice right now and the advice and uh, that he gives the singers is just awesome. and. I don't know. I think he's really great. Uh, what other questions do we have here? Hmm. One word. Okay, sorry about that. We had a little incident. Uh, I got cut off. I think I'm running out of space on my camera. Um, but this is Isabel. She got a little bit upset, so... She's going to sit on my lap for the last question that got cut off, and that is one word that describes you. And I would say that that is uh, mysterious. I think a lot of people have described me as being mysterious in the past. I am an introvert, and I don't give out personal information. I'm very private. I like to keep to myself. I'm a homebody. And unless somebody asks me, I don't really volunteer information. Um, I want to thank Nicole for doing this tag because uh, I feel like I, I know you guys and that I can answer these questions and let you guys know a bit about myself more other than just stitching. And, uh, no, we don't want to do that. And uh, I think it's an awesome way for us to get to know each other. And I've watched the tags that have uh, been posted so far and I hope that the rest of you guys uh, decide to do this tag and we get to know each other a bit better because I think it's really fun and uh, yeah I enjoy watching your videos and I thank you all for subscribing and being so supportive of my videos and uh, we will see you next time you want to say bye? bye oh no oh no okay bye